Thank you for okay. joining us. Yeah, of course. Uh, so my name is Paul Cordero. I'm an analytical scientist with Brighterian. Uh, so we provide real-time predictive analytics uh, based on our artificial intelligence technologies. We're able to provide predictive analytics for various institutions. Uh, so this can be done for acquirers, um, issuers. You know, we work with healthcare providers as well as uh, homeland security. Uh, and so we provide predictive analytics in real time. So we score a transaction and tell you whether or not it's risky or uh, abnormal behavior. So tell me, um, with the most recent breaches that has been all around, um, by utilizing your service or software, would that have prevented that? Uh, yes, actually, we would have been able to detect that uh, hours or days after it actually happened, uh, instead of the weeks it took for Target to realize it happened, which would have allowed them to take the necessary means to save the value of their brand. Uh, we actually, it's a new technology we have to detect data breach, and uh, we can trace fraudulent cards back to a single point of compromise and identify a data breach within hours or days of it happening. Even though it was inside and uh, you can you can identify that? Yeah, using uh, MasterCard's safe database we were able to run a test and uh, we would have identified it weeks sooner than Target actually did. So since you, you're, you're, a, you're a partner of MasterCard, correct? So when vendors take MasterCard, do they get your service along Alongside their contract? Yeah, so we uh, power MasterCard's EMS platform and they provide that to their banks, but that is uh, Brighterian's analytics on the back end. Okay, good. Interesting. I didn't realize that. So now with EMV coming, how does that affect you guys or does that not affect you guys at all? Uh, we're used to it in the European markets, but with it coming to the U.S., it's going to mean we need to refresh some models, do some data analysis to see what sort of uh, new analytics we need to in introduce. Uh, but we don't expect too much of a change. You know, we're, we have experience with EMV already, so okay. it shouldn't be too, too difficult. Now, how do you guys market your product? Do you go direct or do you go through a channel? Uh, we try to go direct through MasterCard. We go through a channel. They provide our service to them. Uh, since 2011, though, we've been uh, we lost our exclusivity with MasterCard, so we've been reaching out into the markets ourselves, and uh, that's what's led us to go to healthcare as well as homeland security, uh, because the technology is so agnostic. We can work with any data, any format, and provide real-time analytics. So, why did you guys lose your contract with MasterCard oh, or the exclusive? Sorry. Exclusive. Yeah, we just had a the partnership was said we were exclusive until 2011. We were still partnered with MasterCard and we're still growing the partnership to this day. Um, so it was just the exclusi exclusivity that, uh, that ended in 2011. But our partnership with MasterCard is still strong. We have a great partnership with them. So where do you see your company going in the next couple of years? Uh, big. I mean, we're going into different markets. Uh, we're getting out of risk a little bit and just going into analytics itself. Uh, so we're moving into marketing as, as well. So. Uh, we have a lot coming up. It's, it's going to be a good few years. So your tool can work on the front end for risk and for fraud, and it can work on the back end to take the data and really use the tool as data analytics on tracking customer spend, product. Exactly, yeah. yeah, to help you uh, give your customers a better shopping experience even. Um, yeah, we can provide analytics anywhere. As long as there's data available, we can work with it. Perfect. Do you have anything else you would like to add to our watchers? Um, no, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. That's okay. It's all right. Well, Paul, thank you so much for yeah. your time, you. and thanks for watching.